Hello Pokemon trainers, this is Trainer Connor, and you're about to watch another Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi battle video today. This is a passerby battle that I had. I'm using some new Pokemon, which is really awesome. I wanted to see just how well they fare in battle, and I'm finally back to posting because I, I had finals and it was really stressful last week. So I apologize for not uploading, but here I am, back in action. So we're going to start out with Zelda here, Zelda the Mega Gardevoir, because I know I can beat this Sableye one-on-one. -on -one. He goes for Fake Out, which is fine by me. I'm still going to go for a Moon Blast, and I actually hit this Glide Score, which is great because it's a QA KO, even after a Protect and Toxic Heal recovery from that thing. It's still a 2 a KO, but I, I end up switching out and going to Pyramidia, which I guess, really, I, I really should have stayed in with my Zelda, because then I would have taken out the Glide Score a lot more quickly, or, a lot more quickly than I would otherwise, but, you know, it's fine. He goes for Knock Off and knocks off my Black Sludge. That sucks, but I do have recovery still, just from Giga Drain and my ability, Regenerator. He roosts, which that leaves him open to a super effective Giga Drain here. See, it's super effective and all. So I question him on that play, but you know, whatever. Neither here nor there. He goes for another Protect. Do you see why I hate Glide Score so much? Yeah. Lots of that going on, as of recently, but here he finally switches out and goes back into Sableye, which is okay by me. Uh, I was expecting him to go with a will o -Wisp now. I'm going to go into my Shiny Heatran to only get Shadow Sneak in the face, because I have an Air Balloon to dodge Earthquakes but now he pops it, so. And on top of that, he has Tonk, which I expected, but, you know, it's fine. Here, he thinks I'm going to switch out, but I'm going to stay in, have that Flash Fire Boosted Lava Plume to finish off Sableye. That worked well, so I guess it's not all bad, but now that leaves my Heatran vulnerable to an Earthquake, and he KOs me, so that worked well for my opponent there. Now is a good time to go back into Zelda, go for a Moon Blast to break his Voltai Scale. I know it, it might not kill him. He has Steel Wing for a coverage move, which I would prefer that over, or no, I would prefer Iron Head over Steel Wing because Steel Wing is not that accurate. Alright, so we're going to go into our shiny Tyrantrum here, Rex Ilias, and just go for a Dragon Claw to finish off the Dragon Knight. Which was a little bit risky because he has an Azumarill, which is a fairy type. But, you know, that's... Here he goes to Keldeo, which I thought I was kind of odd because I didn't know if he knew that I was Scarfed or not. But this is pretty much checkmate. Pyramidia walls this Keldeo. Even if he has Icy Wind, I'm just going to go for Giga Drain and restore more health. And unless he gets a critical hit, there's no way he can KO me. So I'm pretty happy about that. Keldeo is one of my favorite fighting types, and it's a water type too, so can't go wrong with that, right? Because I like water types in general. We're going to go with a Spore right now to put that Keldeo to sleep here, and while that is good, I, I guess... Yeah, we're going to put him to sleep, but then I realized, oh yeah, he still has a zoom roll. Uh, fortunately though, a zoom roll does not have sap zipper. Sap zipper would raise his attack by one stage if he, if he gets hit by a, a grass type move. 
but he obviously has huge power, which is a lot more common uh, because huge power is in where all can really do some work. Now right there, I go with this surgeon whom I haven't used since black and white, and I just go for a bullet punch because I thought that it would be super effective I might hail it. That did not work out too well there, right? Uh, that sucks, but it's okay because we can revenge kill with my choice band Braviary, Sir Eagle, and you just go for a Brave Bird. Now Goliath score is back for more action, and once again, we have to face the poison heal and protect, which is like, ugh, because that turn turned to be a great play by my by my opponent because he was he holds on with a little bit of HP there. Had he not protected, he would have been killed by that brave bird. So good play on my opponent there. He goes for another protect, but seriously though, we're just going to stay in and go for another Brave Bird because that's going to easily revenge kill at that range. So I'm sorry, Glide Score. I mean, I could have just killed that thing earlier in the beginning of the match with my Zelda, but no, I just made it harder for myself. Ah, unfortunately for me, uh, this Mega Alakazam is going to do some wrecking shop here because he, uh, it's, he has sheer force, which is really bad because really sheer force Alakazam. It, uh, what can I say? I mean, it's here I thought I could outspeed him with my choice scarf Tyrantrum, but those moves they KO and we lose. So he had that Alakazam ready to go and he was able to finish me off with those moves. So that's the match. Uh, kind of quick, but I just wanted to, I wanted to post something because I haven't posted anything in a while. I am going to be posting my week four match of the Indigo League of Legends. I skipped week three because of, you know, me being busy and all that. I couldn't battle that week. So week four is coming up. I'm signing up for the January International Challenge competition, which is a little um, Nintendo Wi-Fi event that I like participating in because they're fun tournaments. You can get cool prizes and it's going to begin here real soon. So I'll have some commentary on that as well. Alright, have a great day, trainers. If you enjoyed this Wi-Fi battle, hit that like button. Subscribe as well, and I'll see you all later. Alright, bye now.